Hello, welcome to another Linux Terminal Commands for Beginners tutorial. For this video, I will be talking about wildcards. Let's open up the terminal. Wildcards allow commands to perform actions on more than one file at a time. Many commands make use of wildcards. For the purposes of this video, I will show the standard wildcards and their use with the ls list command. Just know all of these wildcard expressions will work with other commands such as cp copy and rm remove. Alright, let's begin. ls. Here we get the entire list of files and directories in my current directory. What if you want to narrow this list down and only list files that start with doc only? This is where using wildcards comes in. The wildcard asterisk is what we will use to make this happen. Asterisk represents any character any number of times, including zero times. Since we want to list only files that start with doc, we enter ls doc asterisk, where doc because that's the first three characters we want, and asterisk will be in place of any character any number of times after that. What if we just want to list out the doc files that end with .txt? Well, if we notice, many of our doc files are named just doc and either a number or a capital letter. So instead of using asterisk, we can just fill out that character slot with a question mark. The question mark wildcard represents any single character. So let's use ls with this wildcard to display the doc number or letter .txt files. ls doc question mark .txt where doc, because that's the first three characters we want, and the question mark represents a single character slot that occupies that part of the query, and dot txt, because that's what we want the file name to end with. As you can see, we outputted only doc files that end with dot txt. Let's narrow this down further and use wildcards to just display doc a dot txt, docb.txt and docc.txt. We can achieve this using square brackets. When enclosing things in square brackets, you can either use a dash or a comma to specify a range for that character slot. I'll use two ways to use wildcards to display docA.txt, docB.txt, and docC.txt. ls doc bracket capital A dash capital C dot txt. Here I specified a range with the dash on the fourth character slot which means use characters starting from A to C for the slot. And we get the results docA.txt, docB.txt, and docC.txt. The other way we can do this is with commas. ls doc bracket capital A comma capital B comma capital C dot txt. Here I specified a range A, B, or C for the fourth character slot. And here we get the same results once again. You can also write this as ls doc bracket capital A capital B capital C dot txt. And we get the same results. I personally like using the comma since I'm no pro at using wildcards yet. As for which to use, it really depends on the situation. If you have many possibilities that go in an alphabetical or numerical order, then dash is better. If the possibilities you have are only certain characters but are not in order, like the fourth key is either a B, M, or T, then the comma is better. We can also use wildcards to instead of match certain characters, it will not match a character that is listed within brackets. We do this by adding an exclamation point before the character. Let's try it out. ls. As we can see, we have a bunch of doc.txt files. doc1, doc2, doc3, doc4, doc a, doc b, etc. Let's list out these files except for doc a.txt ls doc bracket exclamation point capital A dot txt. We use the exclamation point before A 
because we do not want the fourth character slot to contain a capital A. And here we have the doc.txt files without doca.txt listed. What if we want to list out two different file types? As we can see, there are also doc files that end with dot .doc. Let's list them alongside .txt ones. We can use the curly bracket wildcard for this. We enter ls curly bracket doc asterisk dot txt comma doc asterisk dot doc where doc is the first three characters we want the asterisk represents any character any number of times including zero the files either end with dot txt or dot doc and the comma sign separates the different criteria. Note, we can have as many criteria as we want so long as they're separated by commas. And here we get the doc files with the dot doc and the dot txt file extensions. Using wildcards allows commands to work on more than one file. There are more types of wildcards for Linux. The ones I showed in this video are standard ones that are commonly used. A simple Google search can get you the rest of the wildcards for Linux. This concludes my Linux terminal for beginners tutorial using wildcards. Here are some more Linux for beginners videos. Also please like or subscribe, but only if you want to. And lastly, thanks for watching.